3582 turbo for max speed rods. Where are your chintzes? What do you reckon this one? Uh, oh, I think we were soft. Oh, look at that flange. Beautiful. Beautiful flange on there. Nice little oil feed return. Mm. Oh, three more. Look at that tight orifice right there. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's got a lovely shaft on the propeller turbine. Oh, mate. I tell you what, that's got a run. Got some good running over that. back with another Chins Motorsport video and welcome to my tie reveal. I'd imagine it's probably a very rare tie, right? I've seen it for sale. Dagenham engine plant, 1.8 diesel, right? If anybody knows like where this actually came from, I bought it off eBay. Um, but I'm guessing it probably belonged to someone who worked in the, in the engine plant in Essex, building the engines on the old Fords like this. So I thought I've got to have it. So what a perfect opportunity to wear it today for this video. Ah, ah. Right. So we got contacted the other day by Max Speed and Rods with a little bit of an opportunity. Would you like to have a turbo to do a review on and test on one of your cars? So we agreed. This came in the post. Now, have a little look in there. Ready? Would you like to see this? <laughs> right. So it's quite a big turbo. We'll have a look at that. Right. What's the measurements on that? Can we get a measurement on it? The measurements. Hang on there a second. I'll get a measure for you. What you got there? You should always have one of these on you for measuring things. Mm -hmm. right? Now, four inch on there, a little bit of a four incher, is that enough to satisfy? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what's the whole size of this thing? Let you make your own mind up on that. It's quite a big turbo, right? It uses a T3 flange, so would have fit on like a Cosi or something like that, but on the diesel, doesn't use a T3, so we'll have to adapt it. Can be water cooled. Um, I've got some specs here. I'll show you on the website. Everything's on the website. So these are some of the specs what you get on there, right? They were 239 pound. This is the bit that we're interested in. Horsepower boost up to 600 horsepower, right? That's it, 600 brake now in this. You ready for this? Right, so basically we're going to fit this on one of our cars now, right? Give it a little bit of a review, see what it's like. Now, a good car to have fitted it on would have been the Nova, but I'm not going to take the Nova apart to put that on because it's, it's just, I don't want to get into it with that. I think we're going to have more fun fitting it on the Sierra. So, as we've spoken about before, this is going to get a V6 twin turbo in it eventually. Um, so that engine's not going to stay in there forever anyway. We're going to take it out. So why not have a little bit of fun with it in the meantime? It's already turboed. We can take it off, adapt it, put this on. If we break the engine, it's not a big deal because we didn't care about it anyway. So we can have a bit of fun with it. Um, whether it's going to work or not, is this engine capable of spooling that? I'm not sure. But we have seen a Mark III Fiesta at Santa Pod, being sent to Fortner, same engine, 1.8 Enduro turbo diesel, but someone's twin turbo it, turned into a drag racing car. Now, I haven't seen any footage of it driving, I don't know what sort of power it's running or what else I've done to it, but I'm told it was a quick car. If anybody's seen it, let us know, send us some more information about it, because we'd like to see it. But um, apparently there is a fast one about somewhere. So, we're going to put this turbo on this car, see what happens. Could be crazy, could not work. Who knows, you're going to have to just stick with us and keep watching and you'll find out. Now we'll show you our plans for in the engine beer. We'll head there now and have a look. 
change a few pipes around, things like that. Should fit just. Now, as we've explained before, somebody's already made these pipes mm -hmm. to put it in the cooler. Room. Now, the cooler's quite big and all, you know, as I look at it. Well, it dams all the way down, like it's quite a deep um, intercooler. So, I'm saying it's been a mount there for something as well. I don't know what that is. Like like someone's welded that up. Fucked, no, I don't think that's fucked up. That's someone's welded that up. That's not factory well done. Right, we're dealing with an X race car now of an unknown history. We'll take this pipe out, obviously, because that's attached to the turbo there for the intercooler. So we'll take this pipe out of the way. There's our little turbo on there, which also doesn't look standard because I was looking at this the other day, And if you look down there, you see the exhaust. Someone's tapped in right. Right, the bulkhead to make room. Right. We've whacked it in a bit with a hammer to make room. That's a bigger turbo and exhaust, that. Mm -hmm. Or it's, I don't know why it's like that. It must be off this car. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it already has got an upgraded turbo on it, anyway. Um, I think first, before we fit this, we've never drove this car on the road, it does run and everything, we've never drove it. We've got to at least get it on the road and try it first, as it is. And then we'll uh, use the dragon box, time it and stuff like mm. that, see how fast it is, have a bit of fun. And then we'll take that turbo off and then we'll put this one on. Right. So we'll fit it, this is what I think. We'll unbolt that turbo and this pipe. So you've got the... The bracket there. Mm -hmm. right you make a flange for that. Uh -huh. So we'll just take that turbo off, we'll draw around a bit of steel, make a flange for it, put it in there, and then we'll get a 180 degree pipe. We'll put the pipe off there, it'll mm -hmm. come down, straight up, we'll, we'll bring it down even up here, so it'll sit about here, the pipe, and we'll put a T3 flange on top of that. Uh -huh. You see that? So there's our T3. That turbo will sit just on there, like that. something like that. Maybe just to make a bit room for this. So we'll get that once we get from that flange to that flange up right. there. That will sit there. So then we'll bring the exhaust straight off, 90 degrees. We'll put the old bonnet back on. Straight out the bonnet. We'll probably just drill a hole, send the exhaust out the bonnet for now, just to get it up and running. So we'll. We'll have that turbo sitting there. We'll spin the housing of the turbo around. So this pipe will be coming out this way. So ah, we'll right. And then we'll no, the the right, so it'll just come out and go back into that, right. into the intercooler. Pretty simple, two bits of pipe. Um, oil feeds are already there. Right, the oil feed, there's a water feed as well, and, and water cooler. Uh, and water feeds out there somewhere, we'll just TP some of that. One other problem we'll have is it's uses an external wastegate mm -hmm. and we haven't got one but I have a thought being that this, a, engine, this engine won't run it up to uh -huh. enough to need a wastegate uh -huh. so we'll probably just run it without a wastegate just put a boost gauge well, in well it's running that then, one it's running that one without a wastegate sorry it's a lot smaller but that is a lot smaller well we'll just try it just run it run it with a boost gauge see what it's getting See what it gets, if you think it's going to make too much and it's going to explode. Well, you know what we say. You run it. Just run it? Just run it. <laughs> I mean, this could be the most totally pointless thing ever, but it could, could be fun, it could work, I don't know. Well, it's the experience of learning how to do some custom fabrication and a bit of pipe work and that as well, so it's, it's not pointless. It's, it's an exercise that'll... It's just the, good it's the interest of... What's going to happen when that Will it run? run? I think will it run? <laughs> <laughs> but we want to test it to its limits. We want to take the 1.8 Enduro and run it to its maximum capacity and take it to the next level. You know, we could as well put a charge cooler on. Right. Get the intercooler out. Uh -huh. uh, another thing, I want to put a, one of them big velocity stacks coming off as well, just a big trumpet. Mm. Need filter on out. Yeah. Turbo so the yeah, exhaust out the top. See what happens, it should be a laugh, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not a day, I suppose. I mean, you could blow the engine up. Well, I got that, but that engine's coming out, so... Might as well blow it up. No, but somebody wanted to buy it, didn't they? No, they didn't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Someone's well, got to pay 100. If it's, still, if it's still running, if it's still blowing up, you can buy it. Yeah, you can buy it. <laughs> Might have a bottle of head gasket in it or something. This is Chin's Motorsport, though, man. You run them? Uh-huh. 
talk about the experience building stupid things i think that looks i think that looks like the best option then we'll make the turbo flange off there bring the pipe sit the turbo here it's going to be close to this inlet pipe one downside to that is heat we can heat wrap this cool it to keep it cool keep it cooler because that's going to be putting out a lot of heat in it mm. it's going to get close to the brake reservoir here the master cylinder might heat the brake fluid up a lot more where the fuel there's no fuel lines anywhere near it so well, there won't be any fuel lines <laughs> except from the ones that are just running down there oh, well, that's <laughs> a fuel tank acceptable oh well, that's going to get changed don't worry about that it should be pretty straightforward really a bit of welding a bit of pipe we'll have this on but before we can fit the turbo we we'll need to finish welding the welding the sills i've uh, we'll got the sill sill to put on and a couple of little bits and bobs and Get it, get it up and Test the first. brakes, get some wheels, maybe see if we can get some wheels powder coated mm -hmm. or someone. And then um, get it up on right. the road. We'll get the car up and running first. See what it's like with that turbo one. See what it's it like. It might be really fast with that. But I mean, I doubt it'll be really, really, really fast, but. It's been modified, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. All the pulp and everything, all the uh, mechanicals and that, they've all been played about with. It has, it has an unknown history of. Like someone who's messed around and done stuff to it, and we don't know what's been done to it. So, um, I think we'll benchmark it, find out what sort of performance it has. Take that turbo off, put this one on, and then we'll try it again. But you've got to join us along the journey to to see what's going to happen. Person who twin turboed one, and it was supposed to be really fast on car. Like, why is it not a why is it not a common thing? I've never mm. I've never seen one of these like that before. Usually in like escort vans and it's stuff just like that. Just little not, foot puts, you not know. Fast, but someone's twin turbo and put a drag racing car. We could be stumbling on something here. <laughs> well, you know they've got them PD one one thirty things and in, in scorers and stuff and their diesel, and they were just like little uh, economic these engines. Are, these are cast iron here, they're cast iron blocks. So you can put some power through. Hey, you run me. Hey, man. You run it. Hey. You run it. We're going to show you how to run it. We're going to show you how to really. Cast iron head and a cast iron block, man. That's proper agricultural. We're going to show you how to really run something here at Chins Motors. Oh, right. You've got to witness greatness on this channel, right? Hey. Keep watching. Hey. Subscribe. You're going to miss it. Hey. You don't want to miss this. No. Tell you off on us. Um. <laughs> oh, is that like that for a reason, like that? Oh, oh you're joking, oh, aren't you? Yeah. Well, we have <laughs> designed that. <laughs> just put that on there while you fill it up, while you're just pottering about on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning. Just fill that up there. Guys, forget about that bolt there. Back on that bolt. Like that. What size exhaust are we going to get on it? Get a three inch. What the, what the biggest pipe we can get. Right. You know, on the drag racing cars, they just have an exhaust like that coming straight out of the bottom. Unless we can get some sort of um, reducer where it increases the diameter out and we just put a massive pipe. <laughs> Not just have that, it's the exhaust. This is the air, it's got to be mint, isn't it? Well, I mean, it might just, it, you know what might happen? It might just like fire up and then it'd blow up straight away and be like, oh, well, there we go. And the bonnet just flies no. up. <laughs> How much boost can this thing run as well? That's the thing. Well, we might be able to find some video by the way. Maybe some video. And online. people look with the Isuzu engine, seeing they run like 40 psi. And stuff. Aye, well, then my Isuzu engines, you can run about 40 psi with no internal modifications and stuff like that. And that's so. the thing, the lad who twin turbo one of these as well. I'm, I'm not really guessing that he took it apart and forged it and stuff. Can you even get forged parts for one of these? Did you just run the twin turbo on, yeah. on a standard engine? Did they put them in or custom? And you almost done that amount of effort with mm. this. So I think you, I think this is a secret engine that can just handle a lot of power and no one knows about it. If you've watched enough of these videos by now, then you know exactly what you do at Chins Motorsport. You run it. You run it. You run it. You run them. Wait. Right. Oh, excited us this because they knew that we run them. Exactly. Alright, your chinses. Make sure you hit up on our social media now the Instagrams, TikToks, Facebooks, you know that. <laughs>